Hey, Elizabeth, thank you for submitting your first iteration. Let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, here we are. All right, so the first thing I see is that there's a couple of missing requirements here, and there's a couple of things here that shouldn't be here. Let me describe. So um, if you take a look at the assignments page, the you'll see the front of the poster requires only two things, the name um, or the subject, and that was described in the assignments page, but the name of the um, laureate and then some sort of a tagline. Okay, so we can see that the name is here, but there is no tagline. So you need to, to write a tagline to include here. And, and of course, you can take a look at all of those examples that I posted in the announcements and, and, and other areas in the course. So for, for great ideas on how to establish a tagline, but we just need the name and the tagline on the front of the poster. Now, that the, the, front, the meaning, all meaning on the front of the poster should be created typographically, which means there should be no standalone illustrations or photographs, right? Um, illustrations can be used to create meaning, but they must be incorporated in the typography. And again, take a look at the course announcements for some great examples. And in that example, in that announcements where I did deconstruct uh, some of the, the examples, I really describe in great detail how to establish meaning by incorporating illustration into type as opposed to presenting illustration as a standalone um, illustration or a standalone uh, photograph and we don't want to do that we want to create meaning typographically so I think that the obvious thing here would be to try to incorporate the guitar into the type somehow okay and again there are examples in the course announcements um, so this guitar is not it, it wouldn't be permitted so what we need to do for Sunday's assignment is we need to go ahead and take a look and moving forward in the project we need to figure out how to establish meaning based on typography alone all right. Um, there was another example uh, where a student uh, designer had taken a guitar pick and used visual um, substitution to to replace the A with a guitar pick. That certainly would constitute type as image. And that's what we're after here. We're after type as image so that we're creating meaning based on a combination of type and illustration where the illustration is incorporated right into the type as opposed to standalone. OK. Um, so that's what I would like to do. This um, typeface is kind of interesting, I think, because of, I think the neat thing about this is that it, it kind of is a little bit of a, 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 a tribute to um, the time period in which Bob Dylan was in his heyday, which was really the 60s and 70s. Um, so I think that's that's pretty interesting as well. So those are my recommendations. At this point, I would say if you have any questions at all, you know what? I want to show you. Know, I'm gonna I'm gonna pause this for a second. I want to show you another example. I want to show you, but I just I, I just kind of want to make sure that this is just for your reference only. So try not to borrow any kind of concept that that is, is already presented. So uh, let's go and take a look. So as you can see, uh, this is really interesting. It, it uses kind of these muted '60s colors, so that's really interesting. But the the guitar is just kind of in a really interesting way. It's incorporated right into the B, and the the neat thing is that B kind of only even takes on the shape of a guitar. So that's just gorgeous execution right there. Uh, and then the tagline, here's an example of a really interesting tagline here, is poetic expression, poetic expressions within the great American song tradition. That's beautiful, isn't it? So that's a really good example there. And I'd, I'd like to see you try to work kind of that towards that type of solution. And I'll, please allow me to help you. If you have any questions at all, please let me know. But that's what we're shooting for. Okay, great. Uh, again, Please, please, Elizabeth, any questions at all, get with me. I'll be glad to make any necessary clarifications. Thank you very much.